Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that find x upon x square minus 4x plus 3 by whole minus of x minus 3 whole upon x square plus 2x minus 3 by whole and write the obtained single fraction in its lowest terms. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here we have to subtract these two rational expressions. Now here, first of all we will find LCM of the denominators of these two fractions. Now for this, we will factorize the denominators of the two fractions. Now, denominator of first fraction is x square minus 4x plus 3. Now let us factorize it. Now for factorizing this expression, we will split the middle term into two terms such that sum of those two terms is equal to the middle term that is minus 4x and multiplication of coefficients of those two terms is equal to product of constant term and coefficient of x square that is 3 into 1 which is equal to 3. So this will be equal to x square minus x minus 3x plus 3. Now here you can see if we add minus x and minus 3x it will give us minus 4x and if we multiply minus 1 and minus 3 it will give us plus 3. Further, this is equal to now from first two terms taking x common it will be x into x minus 1 the whole and from last two terms taking minus 3 common it will be minus 3 into x minus 1 the whole. Now from this complete expression taking x minus 1 common, it will be x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole. So, on factorizing the denominator of first fraction, we obtain x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole. Now, denominator of second fraction is x square plus 2x minus 3 now here, for factorizing this expression, we will use the same method which we have discussed earlier. Now this is equal to x square plus 3x minus x minus 3, which is equal to, now taking x common from first two terms, this is x into x plus 3 the whole, and taking minus 1 common from last two terms, it will be minus 1 into x plus 3 the whole, which is equal to x plus 3 the whole into x minus 1 the whole. So, on factorizing the denominator of second fraction, we obtain x plus 3 the whole into x minus 1 the whole. And now we have to find LCM of denominators. Now, LCM of denominators is the product of all the factors in one or both the denominators and here the repeated factors are taken only once. So, LCM of denominators will be equal to Now, here you can see that x minus 1 is the repeated factor so, it will be taken only once. So, LCM will be equal to x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. Now, using the LCM, we will make the denominators equivalent in both the expressions or we can say we will make the denominators equivalent in both these fractions. 
Now the first fraction which is x upon x square minus 4x plus 3 can be written as x upon, now on factorizing this denominator is equal to x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole. Now this first expression that is this rational expression has denominator x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole. So we will make it equal to LCM by multiplying both numerator and denominator by x plus 3 the whole so this is equal to x into x plus 3 the whole whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. Now the second fraction or we can say the second rational expression is x minus 3 whole upon x square plus 2x minus 3 which can be written as x minus 3 whole upon now on factorizing denominator of this second fraction that is x square plus 2x minus 3 is equal to x minus 1 the whole into x plus 3 the whole now for making denominator equal to LCM we multiply both numerator and denominator by x minus 3 the whole and this is equal to x minus 3 the whole into x minus 3 the whole whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x plus 3 the whole into x minus 3 the whole. Now using these values let us subtract these two rational expressions. So this will be equal to x into x plus 3 the whole whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole minus of x minus 3 the whole into x minus 3 the whole whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole and this completes whole. Now subtracting we get in the numerator we will have x into x plus 3 the whole minus of x minus 3 the whole into x minus 3 the whole and this complete whole whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. Now let us open the brackets and this is equal to now x into x plus 3 the whole will be x squared plus 3x minus of x into x minus 3 the whole minus 3 into x minus 3 the whole and this complete whole whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole and this is equal to x square plus 3x minus of x square minus 3x now minus 3 into x is minus 3x and minus 3 into minus 3 is plus 9 the whole. Whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. Now this is equal to x square plus 3x minus of x square. Now minus 3x minus 3x is minus 6x plus 9 the whole. Whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. Now again let us open the brackets in the numerator. This is equal to x square plus 3x minus x square 
Now minus of minus 6x is plus 6x and minus of plus 9 is minus 9. Whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. Now combining the like terms, we have x square minus x square the whole plus of 3x plus 6x the whole minus 9 whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole further this is equal to now x square minus x square is 0 3x plus 6x is 9x minus 9 Whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. And now we have to write this fraction in its lowest terms. Now 9 is the greatest common factor in numerator. So taking 9 common from both the terms in numerator, this will be 9 into x minus 1 the whole. Whole upon x minus 1 the whole into x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. And now we cancel the common factor x minus 1 the whole in both numerator and denominator. And this will be equal to 9 upon x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. So on subtracting these two fractions or we can say on subtracting these two rational expressions we obtain 9 upon x minus 3 the whole into x plus 3 the whole. So this is the required answer and this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.